congratulations on the show. It's a show that has done so much, talked about so much, and now the public have enjoyed the show and have want to see more. Going back for a season two, was it always a, a done deal? Were you always told that you might be coming back, or was there, you know, possibilities that Mia might be coming back? What did they? How did they kind of tell you that you were coming back for season two? No, I mean we were always signed up for two seasons, and um, as far as I knew, Mia was was uh, coming back. I never had any question about it. It's a it's a great honor, a great joy. And I, and I don't mean that lightly, to work with the colleagues that I do. In my career, I think it's always been important to tell stories through the prism of uh, a diverse background, different collaborators from different uh, backgrounds. It's always been important to me to do that. So it's been a great joy and an opportunity that I've really, I've really felt privileged to do. Yeah. And well, I wanted to ask you about working with Mimi because she's she did TV, you know, when TV was she did ER in the 90s and TV's changed a lot. She's done some big movies in between. Was it like working for her? Because she has such a wealth and breadth of experience that it must be such a rush to work with someone that's done, you know, TV 25 years ago, but also TV now and everything in between. Well, you know, my experience of Mimi Leader is that she's a hard worker. I mean, she is into the day to day work that goes along uh, with working in television and, and, and as a filmmaker. But one of the things that the, that's really inspiring and that I take with me from having worked with Mimi is just this in, extraordinary work ethic. You know, um, she has an incredibly high standard. It makes everyone around her uh, want to meet that standard, to meet her expectations and even exceed them. She's visionary and and in her aesthetic, she knows exactly what she wants to shoot. And uh, it always um, looks incredibly beautiful and specific to her. Uh, and if she does uh, go off and do something a little different, you know, she's inspired by the process and you follow her, you, you, you know, uh, you follow the leader in this, in this instance. And so um, she's been such an inspiration to me in a very specific way. I love working with Mimi Leader. Yeah, and I've been speaking to the other cast about this particular process, but I think you are the best at it, may I say, which is the art of corridor walking and talking <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. You have you have quite a power, I'll be honest with you, because it's a very, I guess, probably from your background doing theatre and stuff like that, it is like a one-take kind of deal, but there is a real energy to them that feels almost like it wouldn't be out of place in an action movie or something, that it's very specific and stuff. But you have such a great handle on it. Is that something that you enjoy doing? Because they're quite quite, you know, quite a big part of the show. You know, one of the things that I love to do, unless that I, I'm always asking um, Carrie and the writers if I can say less, because I think that human beings actually don't talk as much as obviously we do on television and film and theater. But I also find the most intriguing moments for the kid, the most I find, I find out the most about the character when I'm in the moment with the other actors and I'm behaving. I'm not saying anything. I find so, out so much about what they're interested in, interested in and what they're listening for. And um, so much of a character is in body language. So I think that's probably why those walk and talks look really real and informative because um, it is how people actually are every day. So yeah, I'm so glad you like that. It's the kind of acting I like to do. I like to say very little and behave a lot. <laughs> yeah, I imagine that's how newsrooms are anyway with someone like me as, as a character who's just like, XXX, that's it, go do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, there's there's not much to say. Do it and see you afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> you have defined the art, may I say. I think that you should you should teach if you teach it one day, that's what you should teach. <laughs> the walk and talk, yeah. Yeah. Walk and talk class. There you go. Uh Karen, love it to talk to you. Thanks so much for your time and uh, good luck with season two. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, 